The flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game, and the battle between hope and despair, would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. <laughs> Maki totally gets me! That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow, and broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. What was it? Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. So the first hit was on his arm. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol. Most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the exosol I was in. I jumped out of the exosol before he could, and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. The second shot on his back. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. Wait. Hold on a second. So, Kaito used his arrow, and you used your arrow. Does that mean... Oh, God. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Yeah. Why did you pick that poison? I mean, granted, you were trying to shoot him with it, but you didn't know if he was zero or not. Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? Wait, hold on. Are you saying that you are doubting his identity as the mastermind too? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Oh. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Oh, okay. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I, I don't understand anything you're saying. But anyway, why are you starting a killing game when it should have ended? You already know it's all meaningless and that I'm the mastermind. 
Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you asshole! I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. But then... Oh, God. What? Kaito protected Kokichi? Uh, I thought of that possibility before the trial. Holy crap. So I guess I was right about the antidote idea. But why? Why did he protect Kokichi? Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? Indeed. She didn't even think of needing any antidote if his target was Kokichi. But if Kaito got hit, then surely the antidote was needed to keep him alive. I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that... You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. Reason why you attacked the control panel with your knife as a last resort to try and enter. But you weren't able to. Is that it? Reason why we found marks of something sharp this morning on the control panel. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But Kokichi stole it from him. Sorry, but I can't die here. Since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. D damn it! Whew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not, because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I... I killed... Shut it! Screw the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't... have you kill anybody. What? Aww, Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse, huh? 
Maki is going to become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! D don't you worry, Makiro. I'm not gonna die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy. Even like that. You really are... not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki, roll. Just hurry up and run. Run. And live. You gotta live. But I refuse to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. In the end, I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from, huh? Good fucking Christ. I... I have no words. After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the Blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. In exchange for all of your lives. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Ooh, Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys gonna vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. Not until the mystery is sold 100%. There are still some questions that need to be answered. We don't have the whole truth. This case isn't over. Huh? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. Hmm? A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with the testimony you've given us. The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Um. Kaito protecting Kokichi. What about Kaito protecting Kokichi? 
You're going to doubt Kaito's actions. Uh, okay. Is it... Huh. What are you trying to see here, Shuichi? Kokichi drinking the antidote? Did Kokichi really drink the antidote? I mean... The bottle was still empty, so somebody had to drink it. I saw him do it, so there's no doubt. Hmm. Damn it! Everyone's staring at me. I screwed up. The control panel being damaged? That's it! Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. But that doesn't make sense, because there's an alarm system on the shutter. Uh, you're, you're right. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about this. If Kokichi closed the hangar again after Maki left, the alarm should have been up too. I... Hmm. Oh yeah! The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. Huh. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. <laughs> How? <laughs> Did... Did she just bring magic dust from from your own lab and covered herself in it so that she wouldn't get detected? <laughs> I mean that was that maybe that was her plan B in case the one with the accessor didn't work. Nah, the security there isn't that sloppy. Are you sure about that, Monokuma? Cause let's not forget. Somebody got inside an excisal. That technically count that technically counts as a security breach. Therefore, I do have to question your sloppy security. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. That's right. There must be some kind of reason behind all these oddities. Actually, I think I may already have... I think I may already know one reason why the alarm didn't go off. But, let's see. Finding that reason will help us find the hidden truth. All right. It's time to solve this mystery, folks. I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you had approached the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Nah. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Nah. Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Mm. Did you really try to break the control panel with him? I'm not going to tell any more lies. It seemed like the alarm system itself was working properly. So what can we learn from that? I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. Hmm... The alarm was sound throughout the academy. Okay. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, where can I even use this true bullet? Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting. Hmm. Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Okay. No more statements over here. 
Let's see about this particular one. That's true. The alarm system didn't go off. If you had approached the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Mm. I try to break the control panel with it. I'm not going to tell any more lies. I don't even know where. Hmm. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. That's true. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. That's also true. If you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Because I'm thinking about this. I'm not going to tell any more lies. If the alarm started, it would have alerted everyone. And Kokichi doesn't want that. So he left the alarm off on purpose. That's what I'm thinking about. But where can I even use this true bullet? I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. Unless there's a different possibility? At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. Let's not catch the shutter. The alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Ah, mm. oh, damn it. Maybe it was just... Ugh, that white statement. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel with a knife? Unless... I'm not going to tell any more lies. The electro bomb. That can also be a possibility. I mean, it can also deactivate the alarm system. Huh. I did attempt Can I use the electro bomb though? Let's see. I tried to destroy the control panel with electro my knife. Bomb. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, actually, let me just. The alarm would have activated with let me see about this one first. No? No. You should have gone off 100%. That's what Monokuma said when we went together, right? So if it didn't go off even then, what possibilities can we consider? Damn it! Mm, okay, I then what about the, the electro bomb Kibo? I mean, it does seem like Kibo's statement the time, is the, the only one that I can truly the debate over here. The alarm would have activated with one of the All right. Uh, huh, there you go. That's wrong. The electro bomb. There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. Yep, that can be a legit possibility. And let's not forget, electro bombs don't leave any debris behind to make us think that an electro bomb was used. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? Mm, a legit question. Why would Kokichi use an electro bomb out of all things? I mean, it wasn't to deactivate the alarm system because he could have done it via the control panel. So, hmm. I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up oh! with the reason why Kokichi would oh! alarm. Unless... Bam, bam. It isn't the alarm system that we should be focusing on. But something else, Himiko. It is something else. Of course. But we know that the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. In that case, then... I've got it. Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. Ding, ding, ding! You're right again, Shuichu, Shuichu Gucci. What? The main objective of Kakichi using the electro bomb was. Yep. 
He wants to disable. <laughs> keep keep away. Nah, I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to do that to him. Disable the press safety function. That's it. It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Deactivate the safety function? The Electra bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. Yes. In which case... Even a living being would have been crushed. That's true, but why would he do that? There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. If I'm right. It means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. Holy mother of Atua. You are right. If the hydraulic press sensor was disabled for the sole reason of crushing a living person, this can mean that what we thought about something that Maki said was wrong. What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? It was Kaito's cause of death. That's it. Kaito's cause of death. It wasn't the poison that killed Kaito. It could have been the hydraulic press. Because if he truly died by poison then there was no need to deactivate the sensor using the electrobomb. What? If the electrobomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Maki, you realize what this means, right? It means that you aren't the blackened. Which does make me happy as well. But... That means you were wrong. You wanted us to vote for Kokichi knowing that you were the blackened. When you truly weren't the one who did it. Or it could very well be possible that it wasn't you who did it. Yes, the cause of death could now be... Uh, the cause of death could be the hydraulic press. This is it! The hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it means the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press, Kokichi. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. It also could have been that he only turned on the barrier and left the alarm off. Meaning the sensor was still on and that Kaito got crushed after getting killed. Meaning that he got killed after being poisoned. I guess this begs the question. Which of these possibilities is the right one? Which of these is the right one? No matter what. No matter what? That's not 
true. We can probably solve this mystery too. Right, Shuichi? Is it really possible to determine Kaito's actual cause of death? Uh... Uh... It is possible, it is not possible. Is it possible to tell? What's wrong? Say something. I don't accept it either. I don't want to believe it, but... The trail of blood. The power cord. accept it. I want to believe it, but... I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know, because I was actually involved. Hmm. Only you know. I guess that's reassuring. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. What? <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim but rather the unknowable culprit! You motherfucker. You actually did it. If it truly is Kokichi who is inside that exosome, then my god, you actually done it. Creating an unsolvable murder case. Oh uh, hey, look kids, we have just hit every single check of a Kodaka's Danganronpa antagonist checklist for maximum popularity in the fandom! Yay! Actually, no, wait, hold on a second. Uh, there, there should still be one or two things to check, which will depend on the outcome of this trial and what will happen afterwards. Oh, good Christ, Kokichi really is the creator's pet. Kodaka, if you truly took your time to write Kokichi with the most care, and you don't give a fuck about the rest of the students, THEN DON'T WRITE OFF OF NAGITO'S POPULARITY, damn it! Don't make me think of Nagito when I think of Kokichi! I mean, Christ! The next thing you know, we're gonna learn that Kokichi also has an illness, just like Nagito. I mean, okay. I am exaggerating when I say that he doesn't give a shit about the rest of the students. Of course, he does. 
some more than the others. But there is a reason why I truly want to believe in character writing equality. Give everyone the same amount of care and attention to make them all memorable and loved. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. 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 Or maybe you meant to say luck. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? 